Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where that guy I just realized is the exact same model as the chef in <laughs> the tavern. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so last time I do remember I kind of after I ended the episode I just kind of stood around and watched people because there's like so many things that they do. They move around so so much. Um, also, I did finally, like, I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little all over the place because I did just finish, uh, the Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wilds, yeah, Frozen Wilds DLC, uh, at least the main story part. I haven't finished all the whole thing, but I finished what I think is the main story. So that is good because now I am not so worried about spoilers. But I did think, so we did realize in that one that it was Hephaestus, the subfunction, the creation subfunction, well, the machine creator subfunction of Gaia that had corrupted this other AI, like a lesser AI, but still like a human level AI, essentially. Um, called Cyan, and I was like, wow, and I cried, and I was like, wow, <laughs> cried like twice, it's fine. Anyway, um, I don't know, I'll hopefully be uploading those by the time, oh, that's a game, that's right, I'll hopefully be uploading those by the time this episode comes out, but we shall see. Anyway, I'm gonna go in the front door. Did I go over here? Also, it has been like a week again since I played. I literally played Horizon Zero Dawn DLC all day yesterday. And that's all I did all day. Because then, um, my neighbor came back and I don't know who it is and I don't want to annoy them. And they listened to the news really loudly. <laughs> so I was like, oh, like, I'm not going to do that because you guys would have heard it. I don't know if they're talking to me or talking to other people. That looks like he's had a few. Where? Oh, wait, up there? Oh. oh who's that? It, you're not who I thought you were. Where's. I'm so confused. Hang on. Listen, Aaron, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, little, I'm, I'm, I'm being a dick. I know. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm, it's not me. Savior. You're my last mm. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse. They're here in the don't. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the I end. wouldn't be surprised. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up Thank there. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. I kind of don't know why nobody's... Maybe they haven't investigated? I don't know. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakhs take care of them, he said. Nozar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different jumpy so when i spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours i followed his hair I found him arguing with the street looks so and uncomfortable when mentioned the eclipse I, I tried getting closer but they hurt me 
the stranger took off, and Lorvik lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Hmm. So I'm inclined to not believe him, but I'll definitely check it out. Because it's probably something, it's probably more than meets the eye. But it could just be totally normal, <laughs> too. It could just be very cut and dry. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods. Searched oh, they did Expo, investigate. Searched it again. Didn't find anything. Look. Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Laravik in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it. Right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy and doesn't want distractions. But hey, if you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. I'll just take care of it myself. The meeting you witnessed, did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Listen, peanut gallery, <laughs> man. Okay, let's see what this wants from me. Oh, this is Erend. I thought Erend was over there. Oh, uh, you could just walk right past him? Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. Gentlemen. That's our cue. Oh, <laughs> oh no. You taking the edge off? Huh. I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, whatever you need. Ask away. C come on, man. <laughs> How have things been since and I... Your silent departure? <laughs> yeah, not bad. Vanguard's going strong. Help Devad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the clay. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Vadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. Wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. I was, um... Wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half, the other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that is the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. Grief, man, it's all over. What do you know about the embassy? Well, you know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Mm. Things might get ugly real fast. Mm. I'll keep that in mind. The freaking body language in this game is amazing. What do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones came slave labor. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Osram to rebuild it. But no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be standing. Yeah, by. I feel like they should have torn this one down and built somewhere else. Oh, well, here comes the awkward part. I, um, I better get going. Oh, uh, yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, uh, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one... Errand. Yeah, all right. 
Can't blame me for trying. Freaking Aloy! Get it together! I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is... If you ever do need me... I know where to find you. Hopefully sober next time. Yeah, don't count on it. Be careful out there, Aloy. We the, the HUD. Okay, well, um, I don't know. Lighten up, Paiv. You've got a thick wall of stone oh. between you and the Tanakh up there. Yes, sir. Or is it? Why the long face, Wish you were heading out there. No, sir. I have been dealing with the horrendous Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, inventory. So this new stash thing, which I mean, to be fair, it's a little weird. The, the magic box, you know, like this is a game that <laughs> don't worry was trying to be a bit more to invade, realistic. Done so already. If you say so, sir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is this okay? Are you in charge around here? Oh no. Uh, <laughs> apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So. What brings Aloy of the Nora to barren life? Aloy, despite the Nora. The I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studious Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. But <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the <laughs> embassy remains delayed. Okay. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. Oh, no. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh have left. What those guys? What are those guys doing? So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanath return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashan? A traitor! Ah, so you've heard. A traitor, definitely, 100%. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. I am hopefully over exaggerating, but I think this guy has been brain uh, the guy that they're talking about has been brainwashed and is going to be like a sleeper agent, but maybe I'm just being paranoid. You said something about Tanakh's marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they consent. <laughs> Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high strung. We'll see about that. You're not the most charismatic person, Aloy. I don't think, this way. I don't think it's gonna work. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and change scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. Yeah, man. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olvid was thrilled. I don't like him. Olvid. He can't go sit in the mine. Remember how to use a hammer. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? Ooh, I wonder if they would have let me by without him. There's the commander. Better brace yourself. And good luck. 
Wait, is this the guy? I think it's the guy from... Oh my gosh, at the very beginning, the guy who's guarding the Karja Gate just outside the Nora Lands. Oh my gosh. How are we to hold an nope, never mind. with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? Hey, Zif, same hair, different what guy. What more can you expect from barbarians? Yeah, hello, barbarian here. <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first oh my. shall begin. Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Oh, Go find two? out what's wrong. Two banners? <sighs> Oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the east where you come from. Excuse, it's forbidden excuse me. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. Oh, Meridian, I say. Wh why is he being a dick to That's me? Right. Why is he be? Nobody what have I done? To the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has. Okay, I'll just jump off the edge. Not even the savior of Meridian. I'll just jump off the edge then. Don't don't mind me. I'm going now? Oh, hang on. Okay. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. I do want to go do that, um, the Maybe eclipse thing. Around the daunt before the embassy. And Thurlis mentioned there's a hunting ground no, here. No, absolutely not. To train up. Mm -mm. I was trying to catch on that. I could literally just throw myself off. Like, watch this, watch this. I'll do, I'll do it over here. This is going to end poorly for me. No, see? Fine. Did they really take away fall damage? That's amazing. Quest. Shadow from the past. It was. This is definitely something Aloy would want to get checked upon. Boom. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Pirate with a personal debt that can never truly be repaid. Yeah, well, he's mad at me, so. Fire fang horn. What do you. Mm -hmm. There's so much information. It's a good thing some of it's still similar from the last game. You can kind of you can kind of pick out who is or what parts are the most. Oh, I should walk. Last thing I need is a machine stomping around in there. Accelerate, brake, dismount, hold, then release. Oh. Okay. I don't know. Accelerate, brake, dismount. Ooh, I'm distracted. I just edited the video where I was trying to swim in the mine shaft, and I'm really, really looking forward to when I can just swim in the open ocean. Yeah, okay, well, okay listen, it is actually connected, so I'm gonna disconnect it now so it'll stop bothering me. This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. It's as good a place to start as any. Consistent with stab wound. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. Come on, come on. I hear a machine. Oh. What's this? Unable to quantify, okay. Can I... Wait, what's this? Go back there. Wooden branches snapped. Okay. Oh, wait. I see plenty of tracks from the car to search party. Not helpful. 
Eh, eh, come on. There's broken branches over here. Broken branches. Was someone up here? Faint tracks leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. See, this is the thing is Ego is actually supposed to be a good hunter without this Let's kind of thing. Leads. Kind of thing. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. So it boggles my mind that like these things that she can't see them without her focus and that nobody else who calls himself a tracker can see these things. Like it's just tracks. Like you should be able to see them with the naked eye. Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Sneak Maybe back. I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. <laughs> oh ho! Trying to call them out here to learn how to override that. I think if I try to silent kill it, it'll um. It'll notice me. Like, the rest will notice me. Maybe I could jump? No, there's one up there. I might have to destroy them all. That's right. What does my valor search do? I need to check. No, oh, it's not the trapper one. It's the hunter one. Bolster your resolve and deal more damage with ranged weapons. I have three points. I do like the idea. Carry more smoke bombs. I do. I do like that idea too. I haven't used any yet, but I would like to. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Reduce my visibility. Slightly less visible. Okay. I might actually do the quieter one. Oh, can I? Yeah. Okay. Be silent. Infiltrator, hunter, trapper. Heck yeah, heck yeah, heck yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Oh dang, I can just... Oh, thanks. Let's see. Ooh. I don't know which way... Oh, dang it. What do you not like again? Weak versus fire. Oh jeez. That heartbeat sound is terrifying. Oh dang it. Oh, it died. Oh, it died fast. Look at those flames. <laughs> no, oh my gosh, these things hit hard. Let's see. 
Oh, I'm just gonna knock it down. It's easy to follow the trail up ahead now. Look at me go. This is how you fill it up from- you just have to hold it in order to fill it up from your stash. Which is really convenient. I'm not sure if that's how it's gonna work for everything. Can I craft a smoker? Two... Three. I'm already out of blast paste! Oh, God! Blaze is what I- I don't even know if they have- yeah, they still have Blaze. Cause, uh, I just saw it on the fang horn. Yeah, Blaze canister. Yeah. But I wonder if I just get to use Blast Paste now. I'm not worried about running out. Good. Blood. Oh, oh that's right, I am following a trail. Whoever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. We take so long. Blood trail with my focus. It should be easy to follow a blood trail without a focus. Okay, I didn't. I thought I had to like. It had to do its little like roundy loading thing. Like Yo, check it out! I need to check cars more often. The only time I remember seeing a car in the last game was when we were in like a little city. Oh my gosh, this is an old like like highway. It's tarmac. I was like, what's a car doing next to a river? But I mean, it was Zion. You, in Zion, well, no, actually, in Zion, at least right now, you can't drive your own vehicle around in it. Generally, you have to take the buses. So I'm like, that makes sense, because in a lot of parks you can just drive around, so but... Set up a lookout down here. But... Not... Really... In... In some... Anyway, sorry. Yellowstone you can drive around. I just finished playing Frozen Wilds, where you get to go to Yellowstone. Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they... Is that a thermos? You should be able to follow their tracks. What is that? A grenade launcher? <laughs> a thermos or a grenade launcher go off to. are my only options. Follow the tracks. Bang. Nope. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Game. Ooh, boar hide. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I think I have the, like, tips and tricks on still, which is fine. Since I apparently... Oh, what is it? A squirrel? How, ca how can I murder my own children? Oh, jeez. Oh, purple, purple, nice. I don't particularly enjoy killing the wild- oh, it's a raccoon. I don't particularly enjoy killing them, but it's for crafting. And I do enjoy increasing my pouch sizes. The trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. Are we gonna climb the cliff to find another dead person at the top? Climb. Hmm. Well, I should probably call this one here for now. But, oh man, I still am trying to talk quietly. <coughs> And it hurts my throat. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, 
really quick, let me say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling care patron, thank you so much. And Christopher, my tree tier patron, thank you so, so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.